At the tip of India, Sri Lanka is the southernmost point of a huge tapering continental landmass. The island has a mountainous heart, bound by a ring of fertile coastal plains. Rivers litter the land, and together with strange weather patterns, these are the perfect ingredients for an underwater paradise. To the east, west and south, the ocean stretches unbroken for thousands of miles. For some drifters, Sri Lanka is the first site of land for years, possibly decades. The secret to Sri Lanka's fertile waters actually lies 100 miles away. It's a story that begins on the highest peaks. Sri Lanka is a land powered by rain. Warm monsoon winds sweep down from the Bay of Bengal, seas surrounding Sri Lanka. Starting life in mysterious high altitude cloud forests, Leaves and debris are washed down the mountains. They work their way through impenetrable jungles. Collecting sediment and nutrients from the earth. En route, they water vast plantations of green gold. Famous Ceylon tea. across the vast plains that circle the island. Where great wild herds are sustained by the life-giving water. And in turn, they add their waste to the rich mix of nutrients. They finally mix with the sea in brackish swamps, the mangroves. A transition on no man's land between the sea and the coast. Lots of cormorants, egrets and painted storks gather in large, excited breeding colonies. When food is abundant, it's the safest time to raise a family. For their neighbor, the white-bellied sea eagle, it's also time to nest. These graceful flyers mate for life. Each year, acrobatic flights in unison renew the pair's bonds. These heavy birds are the largest on the island and can reach up to four and a half kilos. Achieved by an illusion of endless bounty, the fishermen here seem to constantly work the sea. This creates a unique coast, possibly unlike anywhere else in the world. The continental shelf is particularly narrow, and along some stretches, the deep ocean pinches in extremely close to the shore. The presence of deep water so close to land gives access to a true ocean giant. Upwellings created by the meeting of deep cold and shallow warm water bring plankton and nutrients up from the deep. With the double monsoon constantly pumping more nutrients out to sea, this all attracts the largest animal to have ever existed.
This is one of the only places on Earth where blue whales can be found so close to shore all year round. Sri Lanka's coast must remain fertile and productive. Yet the fate of this sea is tied to the land and the rivers that feed it. Sri Lanka's forests are shrinking fast. Its wild herds are squeezed in to an ever smaller share of the island. Ancient Sri Lanka sculpted this land in a way that benefited nature.